Have you ever stirred anything up to accomplish something good? I know I have from time to time. Cream in my coffee, protein powder in my smoothie, or just making sure my paint is well mixed. Well, what we want to talk about today is one of the dictionary definitions of the word stir, which is to rouse to activity. Our moment in the word this week comes from 2 Peter 3, 1 and 2, which says, Beloved, I now write to you this second epistle, in both of which I stir up your pure minds by way of reminder, that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. The great preacher Spurgeon said, the purest minds need stirring up at times. It would be a great pity to stir up impure minds. That would only be to do mischief. But pure minds may be stirred as much as you please, and the more, the better. The word stir in this passage means to wake out of sleep or stir up. In Spanish, there's a saying that is, ponte las pilas. It is a saying that when translated means, put in the batteries, which is a way of encouraging people to work harder or pay attention to something. Spurgeon also said, Peter believed in the inspiration of the very words of Scripture. He was not one of those precious advanced thinkers who would, if they could, tear the very soul out of the book and leave us nothing at all. But he wrote, that you may be mindful of the words, the very words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. Oh, says one, but words do not mean anything. It is the inward sense that is really important. Exactly so. That is just what the fool said about eggshells. He said that they did not mean anything. It was only the inward life germ of the chick within that was important. So he broke all the shells and thereby destroyed the life. If the words could be taken from us, the sense itself would be gone. That is pretty profound, don't you think? In today's world, many word meanings are being changed daily. We as people need to have our pure minds stirred to remember what God has said in Old and New Testaments and apply it to where we are today. God means what He says, and He says what He means. Heaven and earth will pass away, but God's Word will never pass away. May your pure minds be stirred up for good things. This is Pastor Gary with A Moment in the Word. Thank you.